To me, we are the world leader in helping organizations build great companies using information, technology, and analytics. You go to a grocery store today and you see everything that you're purchasing and pulling out of your cart is scanned by you know, a POS scanner in the grocery store and you're smiling and you're talking. But literally that was two guys that had this crazy notion of making something that sounded totally impossible possible. And 40 years later, that's who we are today. That's in our DNA. A lot of companies will say, look, we'll bring the very best of the firm. Right? They'll say that in their sales. And then like, when you interact with them, you're like, OK, really? This is the very best of the firm is what's serving me right now? Because I'm not feeling like it's the very best of the firm. That's not us. We truly will bring the very best in every situation. And I think that comes back to sort of like the scrappy nature, the DNA, the culture of the place, which is frankly one of the reasons why I joined. We, I was in a you know, client meeting last week where we discussed this uh, as you know, a key differentiator in terms of how they're going to experience how they work with us in terms of you know, solving their problems, uh, of expanding our solution based upon their ideas and co-creating uh, in terms of just our style of you know, saying yes more often than we say no. IRI has amazing relationships with its clients, and as I've been here, I've only watched those relationships grow, and I think it's based on the fact that we have so many people that are dedicated to putting the clients first. And I think one of the things that really resonates with our clients and why they continue to choose to work with us is that ability of tremendous resiliency, continuing to push, continuing to innovate. Most of our invention is with a client, almost all of it. Right, it's one of the unique aspects of the organization that we don't we don't go into a vacuum and invent a product. We work with clients to invent products. There's a, a famous person who did in product development who said, "The closer you can get the engineers to the clients, magic happens." And I think that's one of the things that we solve here. Like your folks are so close to the clients, that's what enables that thinking and that product development to happen. So I think that's the other part of the secret sauce. Look at the conversations that we've had relative to artificial intelligence and machine learning and augmented decision making. Just even in the past six months, the clients that are literally like practically falling off their chairs saying, wait, you can do this now? You have some of these capabilities already built in to your existing system? Our ongoing challenge is, uh, is around how to stay ahead. Uh, and that is the right combination of you know, vision, focus, and execution. Uh, to maintain that edge. In any given month, one of us is hanging out with, with one of the, the, you know, the top 10 largest retailers on earth, right? Amazon, Walmart, Kroger, et cetera. And then, you know, companies that make products, you know, again, Pepsi's, Unilever's, uh, Nestle's, et cetera. So that's a, that's a privilege and a wonderful laboratory of, of being at the edge. But that's what makes it fun, especially as you point to this North Star, which is changing the world and how businesses operate.